Welcome to the Office of the Treasurer and Tax Collector's 2023 Annual Business Tax Returns video. This video provides a quick summary of the gross receipts tax and overpaid executive tax online return forms. Please review our online instructions and the business tax code for detailed information. It's important to have all your business information available before you start. The letter you received from our office has your seven digit business account number and eight character online PIN. The online PIN is formatted with both letters and numbers. You will also need the last four digits of your federal tax identification number. For sole proprietors, your federal tax ID is usually your social security number. To begin, go to our homepage at www.sftreasure.org. Look for and select the File Annual Business Tax Returns button to access the landing page. The landing page contains important information, including instructions and a link to enter the filing. After reviewing the page and when you're ready, enter the filing by clicking the File Your Annual Business Tax Returns 2023 button. Enter your seven digit business account number, the last four digits of your federal tax ID and your eight character online PIN. Then click login. Once you've entered the filing, you'll see your business account number and links to the instructions, technical assistance, and a link to exit the form. On the bottom of the screen will be buttons to navigate forward and back. The filing begins with a filing questionnaire. There are four initial questions which will help determine which returns you will have the option to file. Based on your answers to the initial four questions, more questions may appear. You must answer all questions to, to continue. The questions answered in this video are for demonstration purposes only. Remember to answer all questions according to your business. The first question, did you and any related entities have taxable business personal property in San Francisco in tax year 2023. Select yes or no to answer. Question two asks the average number of employees per week, including those employed outside of San Francisco. Question three asks number of San Francisco employees. Enter the number of San Francisco employees as of the last day of 2023. Question four asks, are you filing as a lesser of residential real estate, i.e. residential landlord? See instructions if you have additional business activities. If you answered no to question number four, four more questions will appear. Question five is reserved for the for 2023 and you do not need to answer. Question six asks, are you filing on behalf of a combined group of related entities or are you an entity that was part of a combined group for any portion of the tax year, even if you are filing this return as a separate entity? 
Please refer to the instructions to determine if you're filing as a combined group. Most businesses do not have related entities or members and will answer no to this question. However, if you select yes, you will be prompted to enter information on behalf of the members of the group. Select yes or no to answer. Question seven asks, do you have commercial rent receipts to report? Please note this includes subleases. The instructions for additional information. The commercial rent tax generally applies to businesses leasing commercial space in the city. The question identifies businesses that may owe the commercial rent tax. You may not be subject to the commercial rent tax. For more information on who must file and pay these taxes, visit the business tax section of our website. Select yes or no to answer. Question eight asks, did this business and any related entities as defined in code section 9538, 953.8C employ over 1,000 full-time or part-time people in the United States as of 1231, 2023? Select yes or no to answer. When you're ready, select save and continue. On this page, you will see the tax returns available for you to file. The filing menu page is where you can choose to file all applicable taxes at the same time, or you can choose to file each tax independently during different sessions. However, you are responsible for determining which of these taxes you are required to file and pay. If you are a gross receipts tax filer, you will see two lines, one for the gross receipts tax, overpaid executive tax, and homelessness gross receipts tax returns, and one for business communications. Click the file button to begin or continue a return. If you have already submitted a return for a tax, you will see an amend button. Click this button to amend a previously filed return. You will also see a view prior submission link. Clicking this link will open an HTML of your most recently filed return. Clicking file for business communications will provide a space for you to update contact information in order to receive communications related to health orders, disasters, as well as grant and loan opportunities. For purposes of this video, I will select to file the gross receipts tax overpaid executive tax and homelessness gross receipts tax return. Throughout the return, if you need help on how to answer a question, click on the I button to open detailed instructions. Check the box for each applicable business activity in which you engaged in 2023. Most activities are categorized by their 2012 North American Industry Classification System Code. When you're ready, select Save and Continue. If you have derived gross receipts from both within and outside of San Francisco, your San Francisco gross receipts will be determined, at least in part, by apportionment. To calculate your apportionment percentage, enter your total payroll and San Francisco payroll for 2023. The question reads, are all business activities wholly within San Francisco? Select yes or no to answer. If you mark yes, then select save and continue. If you mark no, to calculate your apportionment percentage, enter your total payroll expense within and outside of San Francisco. Then enter your San Francisco payroll expense. When you're ready, select save and continue.
This worksheet will display columns to help calculate your San Francisco gross receipts. See our instructions for additional information and for relevant code sections. For lines one through nine, enter your gross receipts for the business activity. Enter the amounts only once, even if they qualify in more than one of the lines one through nine. Government grants, including, are not considered to be gross receipts for purposes of the gross receipts tax. Four lines 10 to 16, enter any exclusions for your total gross receipts for that business activity. For some of these questions, the online form will, will require you to provide details. Enter the details by clicking the blue button. Businesses that select construction as their business activity may reduce their San Francisco gross receipts by amounts paid to subcontractors. For construction, the online form will require you to enter details for any subcontractor, including the business account number, project location, and payment information. You may also upload this um, information with a spreadsheet. Refer to the instructions for additional information on this deduction. When you're ready, select Save and Continue. This page summarizes your San Francisco gross receipts based on your entries on the prior pages for each business activity. You may have multiple rows of gross receipts if you have multiple business activities. Line A totals the gross receipts for all your activities. When you're ready, select save and continue. This page summarizes the gross receipts tax rate attributable to each of your business activities. The gross receipts tax has a progressive structure as shown on this page. Each section has a different tax rate. A portion of receipts are left at each section and taxed at that tax bracket's rate. If the receipts exceed the threshold of that section, your remaining amount will progress to the next section and be taxed at the next highest rate. Line F totals the gross receipts tax before credits for all your business activities. When you're ready, select Save and Continue. The overpaid executive tax generally imposes an additional gross receipts tax on businesses in which the highest paid managerial employee within or outside of San Francisco earns more than 100 times the median compensation of employees based in San Francisco. There are four lines for you to enter information as part of the overpaid executive tax return. Based on the information you provide on these, the, the form will calculate the executive pay ratio and overpaid executive tax due. Enter the compensation of the highest paid managerial employee. See instructions for converting part-time compensation to full-time equivalency. Highest paid managerial employees do not need to be based in San Francisco for the tax year. Line two. Enter the job title of the highest paid managerial employee. Line three, enter the median annual compensation of employees based 
in San Francisco for the tax year. Line four, enter the job title of the median employee. On line five, the form will calculate the executive pay ratio based on your entries. On line six, the form will calculate your tax rate based on your entries. Line seven will show your San Francisco taxable gross receipts based on your earlier entries. And line eight will calculate your overpaid executive tax. When you're ready, select save and continue. This page provides a summary of your tax liability. There is an option to designate up to 5.7% of your tax liability to the Community Challenge Grant Program by checking the box. This de designation does not increase your tax liability. Read the taxpayer statement and finalize your filing by, by entering your name and contact information. The email address you enter will receive a copy of the return. When you are ready to submit your filing, select the Submit button. Once the confirmation screen appears, the return is submitted. Remember that you may be required to file other taxes as well. Click Continue to proceed. Next, you'll see the Courtesy Calculation page. We are providing a Courtesy Calculation page for each tax you file. This page will show your principal and the sum of the estimated tax payments made in prior quarters. If you are filing late, it will also calculate any late filing, late payment, and interest calculation. The calculations displayed will not include recent payments or payments made to other annual business tax types. But continue to proceed. You may print this page for your records. You will then return to the tax return menu page where you will see any additional taxes that you need to file. Remember, you are responsible for determining which of these additional taxes you are required to file and pay. Once you are finished filing and all required returns, you are ready to click the Proceed to Pay button. Congratulations, you have now filed your 2023 Gross Receipts Tax Return. Thank you for taking the time to learn about filing your tax returns.